On a normal distribution, you might be asked to find a value or a probability of a value. And uh, you'll almost certainly be asked, if you get a question like this, to sketch the diagram of what the distribution looks like. So the first thing, as neat a diagram as you can, you should use a ruler for that bit, but I'm not going to. You need to put down the magical five numbers, and they will be the mean, which is 67. And using the 95% two sigma rule, we'll need to add on one standard deviation, so that gets us to 71 and 75, and subtract one standard deviation, so that gets to 63 and 59. Okay, that's what the distribution looks like. Our first question is to find out A, if the distribution has, the probability of the distribution has a value greater than 69. So the procedure is as follows. Go to statistics on your calculator, press execute. Go to distribution on your calculator. Go to normal on your calculator. Go to NCD. So tell the examiner that's what you're doing on your calculator. It is NCD. Got into that. We then press the values here. Uh, if it's not already set, make sure you're set on variable. Um, you're looking for a value here, and you can also help yourself a lot by explaining to the examiner that you know what's going on here. We're looking for a value greater than 69, and 69 is already to the right of the mean. So our lower value, write it down. Lower is 69. Our upper value is a huge number that makes sure it's so big we won't have any problems with um, it's as near as damn it infinity for us, I think. So let's stick to the rule of 999 for a very big number. Um, moving down on your calculator, we need to put in the standard deviation. So that would be using that symbol, 4. And we need to put that in on the calculator. And we need the mean to go in, and that's 67. Now, of course, I have skipped that value, that should have been 69. My deliberate error, hope you spotted it. Okay, so let's just tidy up things that you're going to tell the examiner. Remember, he or she isn't going to see your calculator, so we need to put that information on. Is that correct? Lower 69, upper very big number, and our standard deviation, our mean are in. Good, so you press execute, and that's the answer you get. So that probability that the value from the distribution is greater than 69 is equal to, and rule of thumb, go to four decimal places. So that's the answer you should get. Okay, part B. How will you find the value has a value between 65 and 66? Let's exit from that. Don't have to go any further than this. We simply put in a lower value, which of course in this case will be 65, and we put in an upper value, in this case 66. Our standard deviation is the same, our mean is the same. So having put those values in, we better actually tell the examiner we know what we're doing. Uh, 66 is just below the mean, so give, you a, give them a diagram that makes some sense. You're looking for this probability here. Gives you the chance as well to actually start to think, hmm, this isn't going to be very big. Remember the area under this curve is only 1. So then we put down the lower and the lower is 65, and the upper. The examiner needs to see this to know what you're doing. The upper is 66, and yes, you will have to repeat this information for each question. It isn't going to do you too much harm. And then your probability, and let's do this nice and show off that we understand something about our inequalities, between 66 and greater than 65, and that probability will be equal to, hopefully we're going to get the answer here, will be equal to, and remember we thought it was going to be quite small, so 0 0.092, and I think I said four decimal places, but I'm going to go for four significant figures, so that means I need another figure there. Okay, and there's our answers to the question. So that's how you would use, move that out of the way, that's how you would use the information on the calculator to calculate values using NCD.